Hello Internet, I'm Colorful and welcome back to the now lag-free Sublems. In the last episode, we made it through the first 10 levels of the Scary Rating. Today, we are uh, finishing them up. We are on level 11, not as simple as it seems. So it looks pretty simple, though guys are all just going to go to the exit, right? Not quite. Let's go. They turn around the other way, but it's a simple bo uh, bombing exercise. And yes, this is supposed to look similar to not as complicated as it looks. And you gotta love this piano song. So, the builders don't actually play a role in it. As long as you use your bombers properly, you won't need them. This level is just kind of to introduce walking bombing and uh, the fact that some hatches in this game. Spit lemmings out to the left, as opposed to the right. Level 12. Oh, I know this one, because it's taking a while to load. It's a hot one. 50 lemmings, 80% to be saved. 80 release rate, 8 minutes. I did not intend all those 8s, actually. So, there's a reason this one took a while to load, and you'll find out on the insane difficulty, because this level gets repeated. So this level, um, a lot of people seem to have trouble with it, and they were massively overcomplicating it, that's why. With all the builders you have at your disposal, you can easily reach the exit. Mm, yeah. This was also one of the first levels I made, hence why I went kind of uh, overboard with the fire. But I do like how the exit is in a cage, that's kind of a cool thing in my mind. Then again, I feel a little weird complimenting my own levels. I don't want to come off as a... a Gaston, I'll say. So yeah, all you have to really do is build the zigzag staircase up to the top. Haha! -ha. Check it out. I'm just going to build into that just to be safe, and then just bash on through. And you can build to the exit. Uh, don't burn me. Whoops. Sorry for screwing up, but you know, this is this. Yeah, uh, uh, never mind. No, I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna say this is a hard pack, but it's really not. Not until the hellish rating, and of course, weight levels in retro. But honestly, up until hellish, this is a relatively gentle pack, I'd say. I'd say this is a pretty good one to use to do as your first, uh, custom level pack. Alright, come on, man. Alright, this is where we screwed up before. I'm gonna build a bit higher than we did before. Actually, he might be. Okay, or we can just climb up to the top. That works. We'll just have to build an extra two builders, but that's fine. We now we just build to the cage, and we can let the lemmings out soon. This is really just like a builder exercise and working around some treacherous terrain. It's really not that hard. I didn't intend it to be that hard. And just kind of dig your way through the uh, bars of the cage. Uh, hey, man. Oh, really? Really? Oh, 
Right. And that's it's a hot one. The first level I made for the scary difficulty. Level 13. Know your bashers. That's right. 50 by main so we can kill one of them. This is like a uh, kind of advanced bashers level. Showing you that you need to bash from the right point sometimes. So for example, you need to bash slightly before you uh, reach that first fence. So you're, you might be wondering about the one women you can let die. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I did not know my bashers. Let's go. Let's try this again. You do get real close to the fence, but you don't actually touch the fence. Because as you can see, if you don't bash from the right point, you're not going to bash all the way through. And that's the one lemon who has to die. Alright, for this next part, you want to get like literally right on the fence. And then bash. This level also used to be a lot harder. Believe it or not. So he's going to bash slightly before reaching the pole. Because if you bash right on the pole, you're going to stop in the middle. This part right here, at the end, bash as far into the pole as you can get. This part right here, like, I did not have nearly that many poles in the middle. Are you? <laughs> I bashed too far again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Color f Attention internet, Colorful Artie can't beat his own levels. I didn't think we were going to have to get into the replays until, like, the at least the insane rating, or, like, maybe the chaotic rating. This, I was not intending the scary reading to be this hard. Alright. Take it from the top. With feeling. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. So this is the last part is the hardest. It used to be like, there's one pixel where it'll work. Now you just bash, I think, right there. I say I think because I goofed up. And we can max up the release rate. Yay! Yeah, I think there was like, only that middle pole and then these two on the side in the middle of those two squares. And I realized, it's like, yeah, there was, well, there was literally one pixel where it would work. And I'm like, that's too hard. I originally it made this for the scary rating, then when I realized there was some, like one pixel, I'm like, well, we're going to move that to the chaotic rating. And then I'm like, you know, I'm actually having a hard time solving this level myself, and I know how to do it. So why don't we make that last part a little bit easier? I also really like the architecture right up there. I just wish I could find a way to not so that guy didn't have to die. Sorry, man. But you walked up there in the first place, so I'm not actually all that sorry. Level 14, an elevator would be handy. <laughs> Alright. So, I, one person, I'm pretty sure it was Nepster, uh, found a huge back route to this level where you could literally just, like, use all your builders to get up to the top. And this level was used twice in the game, and it worked for both levels, so I'm like, well, we gotta fix that. So I made this pole stick out more. So this level is deceptively difficult. It's a 10 in everything level, but if you don't use your uh, skills properly, you're going to run out pretty fast. So make that first guy an athlete. And now what you're actually going to want to do is have this guy mine downwards. Doesn't make much sense right now, but it will later. Then bash. So this level's all about using the skills properly, so... Lots of arrow walls. What you want to do is... Build up there. Now he's going to turn around. And bash through here, and because you dug down at the beginning, all the lemons are going to go free. Hooray! However, we don't actually want that, so we're going to make another climber. And yeah, we'll make him an athlete. Why not? Bash through there. Then when this guy climbs to the top of here, he's gonna dig. He'll hit his head, turn around, and he's gonna build up here. Now, originally I would just bash through that, but this guy still needs to do a decent bit of building, so we're gonna have that guy build. And you can see what we're gonna do here. And now we'll have him back.
And actually, at extending that platform slightly ensured that that guy is going to get to the exit without having to go through all that again. I like that level a lot, because it's, it's really, really simple, it's really small, but yet at the same time, it's pretty difficult. It, that, that level can definitely catch you off guard if you're not uh, paying attention and thinking hard. But I like that a lot. Level 15, build a wall, break a wall. This is what, in my opinion, I have a cunning plan, should have been like. Should have been a better introduction to the bridge wall. That's what we're going to do here. We're also going to hear freaking awesome music from Shovel Knight. Yep, and that's build a wall, break a wall. So I had a lot of fun making this level. I basically... Making the wall out of dirt was pretty fun. That's supposed to be like a hand waving to you. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. And then I kind of did my own version of Steelworks over here. I found using the moss really annoying for the dirt levels, because you have to make so much of it. And that's the bridge wall. You're going to be using bridge walls multiple times in this game, so... Make sure you remember this lesson. So this, these last few levels of scary tend to be a lot uh, shorter than the other ones. Most of them, at least. Except this one. Bring it on. This was also, I think, one of the last three levels I made for the game. Definitely in the last five. Because I'm like, I need more scary levels. Because I feel like the scary and chaotic levels are the hardest to do. Because it's like, they've got to be challenging, but not like super challenging. I have a hard time going in between. But 50 women's got to save all of them. This kind of introduces you to digging holes to hold your lemmings in. Oh, he's going to be a climber. Dig down a ways, then build to stop him. Now, I personally do not like Warrior World, but its music is pretty good, so I decided to put us all from there in here. I also had a lot of fun making this level and going crazy with the architecture. Don't ask what that guy's supposed to be. Because I'm actually not entirely sure myself. I think he's supposed to be like... Something with like four fists kind of like, Come on, bring it on! So now... To get for this, you're gonna have to mine from just the right point. Everyone bash out. So that guy only climbs up to here and then hits his head and falls down, but there's no pixel sticking outwards. And that noose trap I don't think would do anything not fully in the ground. Nonetheless, I'm quite, kind of proud of that level. I like the architecture mainly, and I think that's a good uh, level for Scary. It's one of the more advanced levels in Scary, but it's also good preparation for the chaotic rating. Level 17. Uh, wait a second. Hang on. What? It said level 7. Okay, I'm really confused right now. What? Hang on, I, I have to check something. What? What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm on level 17, let me need stand, but it said level 18 there. What the heck just happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> I honestly have no idea what just happened there. What? <laughs> It said level 18. Well, you got a sneak peek at the real level 18, but wow, okay, obscure glitch, and I don't think I, I, just, I don't think I can replicate it. I'm gonna have to look back in editing what I did there, except it's not showing all the level. Whatever. whatever. So this is Lemonade Stand. Originally, I had this in like the late chaotic late rating because I couldn't decide if it was super easy or super hard. People were like, it, it pretty much it was unanimous. Like it was, it was super easy. Put it in scary. So I put it in scary. Put uh, old scary level in chaotic and pushed everything in chaotic back. 
Blah blah blah. So this level, despite being five minutes, it's actually a time crunch. Mainly because the lemmings have to walk a long way. So this is basically just timing your bashers and builders, right? Once he's like halfway through the wall, you want the next wild lemming to start bashing, so like here. And then once he's through, he's gonna build, and then you're gonna have the next guy bash. Keep in mind, the game does not automatically pause again after you um, uh, assign a skill. It doesn't automatically pause again. I am just that fast at pausing. <laughs> I couldn't tell if this was like one of my best levels or one of my most boring levels. People seem to like it though, so that makes me happy. Uh oh. Hopefully they'll make- oh yeah, they totally will. There we go, alright, yeah, so you can see it's basically just like, they go up through this tunnel, into this area, hit their head, turn around, go up, and it's basically just a giant vein upwards. So, yeah, this is gonna take a while. Also, Lemonade Stand was originally the name of a completely different level, but I changed it. I knew I wanted a level called Lemonade Stand, but I wanted to make one that actually kind of at least semi looked like a stand. This level was heavily inspired by Diamond Ribs from PMORMs. One of my favorite levels of PMORMs. And now you just walk all the lemmings. You walk all the lemmings. You watch all the lemmings walk up to the exit. Ain't it exciting? Yeah, we're already down to less than a minute. It's a time crunch, but you can make it. That's at least the way it's intended to be solved. I did see it one or two replays where everyone just put all their batteries all at the same time and then had them all build at the same time. I guess they got that to work. I could not. But that's just me. Alright, time for the real level 18. A minor issue. Originally, this was called a minor problem, and then I played the Moby Lambs level that was named exactly the same thing, and had the exact same solution. So, had to rename that. 50 lemmings, and you can kill only one. And surprise, no builders. And this is the last Frogger music we'll hear in the game. He's gonna dig down a bit and then bash. Once again, pretty small level. And I'm hopefully it's back root proof. Because this is a pretty important skill you need to know. So he's mining downwards, but how can you get him to go to the exit? The answer is the blocker. Blockers can turn miners around, they can also turn bashers around. Kind of. Trying to get a single lemmy. Alright, that'll work. And I cranked up the release rate to 99 just in time for all the lemmings to be out. And shoot, he hit the steel anyways. You, I thought that was going to be deep enough, it was not. This ain't Neo Lemmix. They can't go under one pixel of steel. Boom boom. Boom boom. I need to stop doing that. Ah, who cares? I haven't gotten any complaints. Don't want to make the same mistake twice. No! Alright, you know what? Fine. Change of plan. 
He's gonna bash, and now we're gonna max out the release rate. That actually is going to separate the lemmings more than anything else. Are you happy? I love how I'm failing at my own levels. And not even the hard levels! These are the easy levels! Oh, wonderful! One lemming that's secluded. Bam. You can't tell me that's gonna hit steel. Thank you! That level was a lot harder than it had to be. Level 19! La Casa del Lemming. 20 lemmings, 80% to be saved. So, I intended this level as just a here or call out the bomb squad style of level, but originally these steel blocks at the edges didn't weren't originally there. People tried going under the level? Crazy! But, that's why they thought it was so hard. It's not that hard. What was hard was finding good music for this level. By the way, La Casa de Lemming is uh, Spanish for basically the House of Lemmings, or the House of the Lemmings, or the Lemming House. Basically, La is the, Casa is House, and Lemming is Lemming. Mendel is like, of the... Had to find some nice uh, Spanish sounding music for, the, for this level. I found multiple different ones, but only this one was deemed good enough. I tried to make this look like a hotel, so like, that's supposed to be like, the checkout place or the check-in. This is supposed to be like, chairs and a table, that's supposed to be a bed, and this is supposed to be an elevator. After he goes over the chain, you want him to start building to the right this time. This is the simplest and at least the most efficient way. Woo! <laughs> Exploder! Can you still assign tasks to an exploder? No, you can't. Like the Hard Rock Mariachi Band. Uh, nope. I keep forgetting that if you scroll, you can change your tasks really quickly. And that's La Casa del Lemmy. I took a little bit of Spanish in high school, don't remember like anything, but... I knew all of these words except the me. I had to look up the word for Lemmy. It was pretty much the same. Oh yeah, time for the coolest boss in the game. Oh, oh, pun alert. Boss Battle 2, the Scary Snowman, or rather the Scary Snowmen. 50 Lemmings, 90% to be saved, 50 release rate, 4 minutes, blah blah blah. No, I did not remove the uh, traps in the guy's mouth. If you walk into a giant evil snowman's mouth, of course he's gonna kill you. Seriously. So this is interesting in that you actually have to work with two hatches at the same time. I debated giving you more time so you could do each hatch at one time, then I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. It also has some of the um, most amazing music in the pack. Right. <laughs> Oh wow, he actually went through all the icicle stuff, alright. So I tried to make this guy look angry by putting those fins there, it, it, he still doesn't, he just looks kinda cute. I honestly think this is some of the most epic music in the pack. Uh, what? No. Alright, fine. Oh, 
Christmas music at its most epic. I don't want him much fun making this level. And these even look kind of like his hands. These little clumps of snow there. I also tried to put an X there where his, uh, the exit is. It's hard to see, but it is there. Right there. <laughs> yeah, if you walk into his mouth, he's gonna cut you with his icicles. in the exit. You are in the freaking exit. Thank you. Oh well, this just means we get to listen to the music for longer. This too was also one of the first levels I made. And still one of my favorites. Oh yeah! Epic music. Yeah, I don't see any way to top that for today. <laughs> and we finished all the scary levels, too, so I'm going to leave the video off there. I'm Killer Farty. I really hope you're enjoying the Subwim series so far, because guess what? The levels are about to get a lot more awesome. Tune in next time. We're going to start the chaotic levels. Have a great day, and God bless.